30 antibiotic resistant bacteria discovered in LA County wastewater for the first time ever. The bacteria does pose serious health concerns for the immunocompromised. The bacteria strain spreads fast and it is resistant to colistin. That's a last resort antibiotic treatment for serious infections. KTLA 5's Chris Wolf is live in Playa del Rey with the latest from the professor who actually made the discovery. Hi, Chris. Absolutely. Good afternoon, Lou and Sandy and everybody. This professor says that his team tested wastewater here in Playa del Rey and also at another facility in Carson. They're two of the largest such facilities in L.A. County, serving about 8 million people. And the professor tells us that that basically means this super bacteria are circulating all over the county. It's here and it could be deadly. A scientist at USC has discovered a bacteria that can resist even the so-called last resort antibiotic, colistin. That's used when all else fails, such as penicillin. The implications are alarming. The bacteria and its associated gene, mobilized colistin resistance, or MCR, were found at two of the largest wastewater treatment facilities in LA County. Hyperion treatment plant in Playa del Rey and the Joint Water Pollution Control Plant in Carson. Scientists say wastewater is a good indicator of public health and illness. That's why it should be tested often. This kind of super bacteria have been found all over the world, but this is the first discovery in LA County. And the concern involves human, animal, and environmental health. USC Professor of Civil and Environmental Engineering, Adam Smith made the discovery and says people who are immunocompromised, such as cancer or cystic fibrosis patients, for example, are most at risk. I think it's important to um, realize that antibiotics are um, overprescribed by many medical professionals when they're not necessarily needed. A good example would be during the pandemic. And that helped create the super resistant bacteria. Adam Smith says we need to take a hard look at how society uses these medications. Is there a need for new ones or new therapies to treat those with health issues? The professor also says the antibiotic resistant bacteria can transfer to other bacteria, making them antibiotic resistant as well. So don't overprescribe antibiotics for humans. Don't overprescribe antibiotics for animals. And then also um, in terms of environmental protection, we need to think about our wastewater treatment plants and how they could be better designed to actually combat antibiotic resistance so that it's not getting out into the environment. Professor Adam Smith is also calling for more frequent testing of wastewater and at more sites. Reporting live in Playa del Rey, I'm Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News.